done. All right. Uh, so I got my floor taken care of. I still want a nice wall one. So uh, let's see what metal flat generic looks like. Sure, I'll take it. Final save. It goes to the same directory as before, so you can just save it. Um, I need a ceiling. And what one did I just take? I took metal flat. Um, no. All right, I'll just use a different one that's already been thrown into the halo that comes with the editing kit. Um, Alright, so I'm going to want to select my floor, and uh, that's an ID of 3, so if you bring up your material editor, I'm going to want to create or grab my floor bitmap that I just extracted. to go to your Halo root directory, go to Tutorial, Levels, B30, Bitmaps. Uh, you're going to want to change this to All Files. And I'm going to want the Floor Bitmap. Click Open. Oh, I forgot to uh, copy the name. Sorry if this was horribly boring for you, but how it goes, I suppose. Alrighty. If you click off, you'll notice it doesn't really look good because right now it doesn't have a UVW map. Um, I'll map it all as soon as I'm done with throwing textures on everything. Um, for the walls, the walls were Two. So I'm going to grab that one I pulled out for the wall. Four was the ceiling. And uh, I need to pull something out for that. So let's grab one out of this tutorial map. Let's go to data levels test tutorial bit maps. change that to all files and you can look through here and you can see I probably should have just pulled stuff out of here rather than okay I know that says floor but I don't really care right now it's all the same to me right now okay copy and that'll be my ceiling Doesn't that just look pretty? Neato. Um, close out of that. I'm just going to go around now and add UVW maps. So you saw me do it with the ladder earlier, and it doesn't get any more exciting than that. The thing is now, though, is that um, since the image itself was square, usually if you... Uh, type in a number here that's uh, the same number for all three sp um, spots it'll end up making it look not crappy 
I put in 50, which is kind of small. As you can see, it's rather tiled. So I'm going to put in 256 Oops. for all of them. And that looks better. So just right click, convert, convert to editable mesh. Click a floor one, select ID. There we got all the floors. And go through the same deal. UVW map, box. Doesn't really matter with the floor if they're all flat, but it's always just a good habit to get into the box then. Um, these ones you actually want it to kind of look tiled. So I'm going to have 64 by 64 by 64. And that looks fine. Convert, convert, it, convert to editable mesh. And finally, the ceiling. All right, I thought I thought I moved it there a little bit. Select the ceiling and go through the same deal. UVW map again. Doesn't really matter if it's planar or box for a flat surface, but usually box is the way to go. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to do 256, 256, 256. All right, right click, convert, convert to edible mesh. And you can see now it's all fully textured. Now all I have left to do is export this, put it, uh, run it through tool, get it all tagged and all that fun stuff, get it into the game and, uh, you know, all the easy part. Um, so suppose that's it for part three. Let's see how long I made it. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, see you in part four.